and welcome to the Mastermind semi-finals with me, John Humphreys. In the spotlight tonight are Steve Goddard, a lecturer in French whose specialist subject is the history of the Liberal Democrats. Sally Phillips, a doctor. She'll be answering questions on the films of Powell and Pressburger. Jackie Hunter, a writer and content editor. Her subject, the Bauhaus movement. And Dan Afshar, a company director. His specialist subject, Emil Zatopek. Tonight's semi-finalists have, of course, been here before, but are under even greater pressure now. Tonight's winner goes through to the grand final and moves that step closer to winning the glass bowl and becoming the nation's mastermind. As always, they will face two minutes of questions on their specialist subject and then two and a half minutes on their general knowledge. So, let's get on with it and ask our first contender to join us, please. And your name is? Steve Goddard. Your occupation? Lecturer in French. And your chosen subject? The history of the Liberal Democrats. In two minutes, starting now, the party now known as the Liberal Democrats was created by a merger of the Liberal Party and the Social Democratic Party in 1988. At the time, it was known by what longer name? Social and Liberal Democrats. Yeah. Voices and Choices for All, a joint policy document produced alongside the merger negotiations, provoked a backlash and was dropped before it was issued. That document came to be known by a nickname inspired by a comedy sketch. What nickname? Dead Parrot. Yep. The first election for the leadership of the merged party was contested by two candidates, Paddy Ashdown and another MP who would later become the party's deputy leader. Who was he? Alan Beath. Yep. A surprise Liberal Democrat victory in a by-election in October 1990 is widely considered to have contributed to the downfall of Margaret Thatcher as Prime Minister a month later. The by-election was held in which constituency? Eastbourne. Yep, Nick Clegg was selected as the Liberal Democrat candidate for Sheffield Hallam before the 2005 general election, though one of his opponents in that contest would also eventually become party leader. Who was that? Ed Miliband. Joe Swinson. After their first general election in 1992, the Liberal Democrats increased their number of seats in Parliament at every general election up to and including the one in 2005. How many seats did they win in 2005? 62. Yes. When one prominent Liberal Democrat was shown an exit poll which suggested that the party had sustained major losses in the 2015 general election, he told Andrew Neil, if this exit poll is right, Andrew, I will publicly eat my hat on your programme. Who was he? Paddy Ashton. Yes. Which prominent Liberal Democrat said in October 1998, Paddy Ashton is the only party leader who is a trained killer, although, to be fair, Mrs Thatcher was self-taught. Charles Kennedy? Yes. One of the four co-founders of the Social Democrat Party who led the Liberal Democrats in the House of Lords from 2001 to 2004 became a key figure in a revolt over the coalition government's planned NHS reforms in 2011. Who was that? Shirley Williams. Yes. When the party's federal executive voted on whether to enter into a coalition with the Conservatives in 2010, only one member, a former MP, voted against the proposal. Who? David House. David Rendell. After the 1992 started, so I shall finish, general election, Paddy Ashdown made a landmark speech to a small audience in a town in his constituency in which he called for a realignment of the political left. Which town? Chard. Is correct. No passes, Steve. You have nine points. And our next contender, please. And your name is? Sally Phillips. And Sally, you did not win your heat last time around, but as one of the highest scoring runners up, you are back, taking the place of Bryony Havigal, who can't, I'm afraid, be here tonight. So, here we are. Thank you very much for joining us. And uh, let me ask you your occupation. I'm a doctor. And your chosen subject. The films of Powell and Pressburger. The filmmaking partnership behind a string of acclaimed British films, mainly in the 1940s and 50s. Here we go. In the early 40s, Michael Powell and Emmerich Pressburger formed a production company through which they made many of their subsequent films. What was it called? The Archers. Yep. What's the title of the 1941 Powell and Pressburger propaganda film that features music composed by Ray Vaughan Williams? It was his first feature film score. 
The 49th parallel. Yep, in I Know Where I'm Going, Joan travels to a Scottish island to marry her fiancé but gets stranded on the way because of bad weather. She meets a naval officer and the pair find themselves caught by a whirlpool after their boat's engine breaks down. What's the name of the whirlpool? Carrie Vacken. No, Corrie Vacken. In A Canterbury Tale, which actor best known for his role in Carry On films plays Thomas Duckett, the station master in the village of Chillingbourne? Charles Hawtrey. Yes, in The Tales of Hoffman, Robert Helpman, who also appears in The Red Shoes, plays Lindorf, Capel Alias Dapatuto and which other role? Dr. Miracle. Yep. In A Matter of Life and Death, an RAF pilot who didn't die on schedule appeals against a decision to take him to heaven on the basis that he has since fallen in love. The prosecution counsel at his appeal hearing is a Bostonian man killed by the British in 1775. What's his name? Abraham Farland. Yes. In Black Narcissus, the congregation at the St. Faith Mission in the Himalayas sings the first Noel at a Christmas service. A second carol triggers memories of a past love affair for Sister Cloda, one of the nuns there, played by Deborah car. Which carol? Uh, holy... Uh... No, Lily, my liking. The Red Shoes begins with the opening night of a ballet with music by Andrew Palmer and performed by the ballet Le Montoff. What's the title of the ballet? Heart of Fire. Yes, in the Battle of the River Plate, when the British rethink their demand that the Graf Spee should leave Montevideo within 24 hours, the Uruguayan foreign minister says, explain this change of attitude. The British diplomat replies, it's not a change of attitude, it's a change of... Strategy. Yes. In Ill Met by Moonlight, the kidnapped German officer, General Kreiper, says that he'll be the last stock of the Wehrmacht to have been captured by amateurs. That's because his British kidnappers don't know the Morse code for what two-letter signal? Um, uh, P and S. No, it's S and B. No passes, Sally. You have scored seven points. Thank you. And our next contender, please. And your name is? Jackie Hunter. Your occupation? Content writer and editor. And your chosen subject? The Bauhaus movement. The 20th century functionalist German art movement. Here we go. The Staatliches Bauhaus was established in Weimar in 1919 as the result of a merger of two former art schools and taught a range of arts and handicrafts under one roof. What was the name of its founder and first director? Walter Gropius. Yes. Which Swiss painter joined the Bauhaus staff in 1919 as one of Gropius's first appointments? He designed and taught the Bauhaus Fokkers, or preliminary course. It was, um, Paul Clay. No, Itten. What was the name of the experimental house that was opened as part of the 1923 Bauhaus exhibition? It was co-designed by the painter and Bauhaus teacher Georg Mucher in the shape of a square. House am Horn. Yes. Some of the most successful Bauhaus students went on to teach there. One of these, while he was still a student, was commissioned to design a series of banknotes for the State Bank of Thuringia in 1923. Which student? Herbert Bayer. Yep. In 1925, the Bauhaus left Weimar after its financial support was cut by a newly elected regional government. The Bauhaus moved to another city where it would stay until it moved to Berlin in 1932. Which city? Dessau. Yep. Which Bauhaus teacher and sculptor designed a series of wooden chess sets that were first put on sale in the mid-1920s? The shape of each piece was intended to reflect the moves it could make on the chessboard. Joseph Hartwig. Yes. Which housing estate of more than 300 homes was designed by Walter Gropius and built in Dessau in three stages between 1926 and 28? The Bauhaus sold specially designed furniture for the estate's homes. Um, the Junkers estate? No, the Toten estate. A series of 14 Bauhaus books was published in the 1920s, which included titles by many of the Bauhaus staff. Which work by Vasily Kandinsky, who taught at the Bauhaus, was issued as Bauhaus book number nine in 1926? A uh, pedagogic sketchbook. Point and line to plane. Which member of the Bauhaus designed the tubular steel Model B3 chair, also known as the Vasili chair, in the mid-twenties? Marcel Breuer. Yep. Which product did the industrialist Emil Rasch first manufacture and sell, started so I shall finish, on behalf of the Bauhaus in 1930? The products that Rasch put on sale had been designed by Bauhaus students in a competition. Uh, wallpaper. Wallpaper it was. Tracky, no passes. You have seven points. And our final contender, please. And your name is... 
Dan Afshar. Your occupation. Company director. And your chosen subject. The life of Emil Zatopek. The great world record-breaking Czechoslovakia long-distance runner. Here we go. Zatopek's ungainly running style and the notion that he dragged other athletes around the track behind him resulted in a nickname that likened him to a machine. What nickname? Czech locomotive. Yeah. For most of his career, Zatopek trained without a coach, but he did give credit to help he received in his early days from a Czechoslovakian champion runner known as Ali. What was his real name? Palooza. Sorry. Say again. A loser. Yes. In 1946, Zatopek went to the Allied Forces Military Championships where he was the sole Czechoslovakian competitor and won the 5,000 metres. The championships were held in which city? Berlin. Yep. From 1948 to 54, Zatopek maintained an unbeaten record over 38 races at which distance? 10,000 metres. Yeah. At the 1948 London Olympics, Zatopek fell behind in the final of the 5,000 metres but ran an astonishing final lap and lost out by just 0.2 seconds to a Belgian athlete. What was his name? Rife. Yeah. At the Helsinki Olympics, Zatopek achieved the unprecedented feat of winning the 5,000 metres, the 10,000 metres and the marathon. After the marathon, he was carried around the stadium on the shoulders of the team who'd won gold in the 4x400 metres relay, which country Jamaica. did that team represent? Jamaica. Is correct. Before the 1952 Olympics, Zatopek clashed with the regime in Czechoslovakia. A young athlete had been banned from the Games because of anti-communist activity in his family, and Zatopek refused to go unless the athlete was reinstated. What was his name? Young Wirt. Yeah. Zatopek's final competitive race took place in Spain in 1958. It was a cross-country event that he managed to win in spite of a high-quality field. Which city hosted the race? San Sebastian. Yep. In 1969, Zatopek was out of favour in Czechoslovakia because of his support for the Prague Spring reforms. At the same time, he felt unable to accept a job he'd been offered with the National Athletic Association of another European country. Which country? Sweden. Yeah. After his criticism of the communist government, Zatopek was given menial work. One of these periods was spent labouring underground in a disused uranium mine. The mine was in a town west of Prague near the German border. What town? Yakimov. Yeah. Zatopek achieved his first world record in 1949 in the 10,000 metres. Which Finnish athlete had previously held the record and regained it three months later? I know. Is correct. No passes, Dan. You have 11 points. <laughs> Some seriously good scoring there in that specialist round. Let's have a look at all the scores. Joint third place, seven points apiece, Sally and Jackie. Second place, nine points, Steve. First place, 11 points, Dan. So, now it is the general knowledge round. And if there is a tie at the end of it, then the number of passes is taken into account and the person with the fewer passes is the winner. But if they're tied on passes as well, then there has to be a tie break. So, let us ask Sally to join us again, please. And, Sally, you start out with seven points. You have two and a half minutes for general knowledge. Starting now, the theory of natural selection states that those species best able to adapt to their environment are more likely to thrive and reproduce. The theory is often summed up with the phrase survival of the... Fittest. Correct. The location in America, which has been the launch site for many NASA space missions, was renamed Cape Kennedy in 1963, but reverted to its original name almost ten years later. What name? Canaveral. Yep. Which race course in County Kildare is the venue for the Irish Derby? Pass. The food blogger and writer known as Deliciously Ella named her first child after her late mother-in-law, British Labour politician, who died in May 2018. Which politician? Shirley. Tessa Jarl. Neoprene is an elastic fabric used to make wetsuits and protective gloves. It was developed in the 1930s as a synthetic alternative to what natural substance? Rubber. Yep. Which American singer had her first UK number one album in 2010 with Teenage Dream? Her next album, Prism, also topped the chart in 2013. Um, Ellie Goulding. Katy Perry. The ancient cynic school of philosophy is closely associated with the Greek philosopher who's said to have carried a lantern in broad daylight searching for an honest man. This philosopher was known by what name? Um, uh, pass. Which organisation was founded in 1863 by the Swiss humanitarian Henri Dunant to help those wounded or taken prisoner in war? Its equivalent in Muslim countries is the Red Crescent. Red Cross. Yes. Which writer who received an Oscar nomination for the screenplay for My Beautiful Laundrette won the 1990 Whitbread Award for a first novel for The Buddha of Suburbia? Uh, Sadie Smith. Hanif Qureshi. The performance art duo who won the Turner Prize in 1986 and have described themselves as living sculptures have the surnames Prush and Passmore. How are they known professionally? Um, George and um, Perry. Gilbert and George. 
A new coin was introduced into circulation by the Royal Mint in 1983 to replace a Bank of England note of the same denomination. What denomination? Uh, one pound. Yes. Sean Bean and Peter Capaldi have both made cameo appearances on a British television sitcom. Bean played himself. Capaldi played Tristan Campbell, a producer from Songs of Praise. Which sitcom? Um, uh, uh, going Out. The Vicar of Dibley. The spice mace is obtained from the same tree as another spice. Which one? Nutmeg. Yep. Yeah. Which novella by Joseph Conrad tells of a journey on the River Congo in search of an ivory trader called Mr Kurtz? It was the inspiration for the 1979 film Apocalypse Now, set in Vietnam. Heart of Darkness. Yeah. A type of zebra which inhabited the plains of South Africa until it became extinct in the 1880s was unusual in that only the front part of its body was striped. What was it called? A carpi. A quagga. Yes. You had two passes, Sally. Diogenes was the uh, philosopher who was always in search of an honest man, and that race course in County Kaleo is the Curra. Okay. You have 14 points. Thank you. And now Jackie again, please. And you start out, Jackie, with seven points. And the score to beat at the moment is 14. Let's see how you do with your general knowledge. Here we go. Which Swedish band sang the winning song Waterloo at the 1974 Eurovision Song Contest? ABBA. Yep, the acronym POTUS is an informal name for the holder of which American political post? President of the United States. Yes, what word for someone who is fanatically committed to a cause is derived from the name of a Jewish movement of the first century AD that was strongly opposed to Roman rule? Zealots. Yep, the title character of a 1959 novel by Keith Waterhouse is a daydreamer and fantasist who compensates for his humdrum existence by living in a world of his own imaginings. Which novel? Uh, Walter Mitty, no, the secret Billy life. Liar. Which island off the Malay Peninsula is the largest island that's entirely in Indonesia? Its main cities include Medan and Padang. Java. Sumatra. Acetaminophen is the American name for a pain-killing drug widely used to treat aches and pains. What's the generic name for this drug in the UK? Aspirin. Paracetamol. The poem Ozymandias by Percy Shelley was inspired by the remains of a statue of an Egyptian pharaoh of the 13th century BC. Which pharaoh? Tutankhamun. Ramesses II. What's the name of the giant rock in central Australia which is sacred to the local Anangu people? A ban on visitors climbing it was introduced in 2019. Uluru. Yep. A toasted or fried cheese and ham sandwich is known as a croque monsieur. What similar name is given to the same dish when it's served with a fried egg on top? A uh, croque madame. Yes. A tractor manufacturing company established in 1948 by an Italian businessman with the first name Ferruccio later became better known as a producer of luxury sports cars from its factory near Bologna. What was the businessman's surname? Ferrari. Lamborghini. Rodney Parade is the home ground of the professional rugby union team known as the Dragons in which Welsh city is it? Cardiff. Newport. Which actress received her first Oscar nomination for her performance in the 2005 film Brokeback Mountain? She later went on to receive consecutive nominations in the Best Actress category for her roles in Blue Valentine and My Week with Marilyn. Michelle Williams. Yes, on a standard six-sided dice, the dots marked on its opposite faces always add up to what number? Six. Seven. An extinct race of humans characterised by a pronounced brow ridge in the skull are named after a valley in western Germany where the first skeleton of its kind was discovered. They're known by what name? Pus. Which chemical element has the symbol CS? Its name comes from the Latin for sky blue because of the vivid colour of the lines in its emission spectrum. Cobalt. Cesium. Which small East Coast American state is bordered by New York to the north and Pennsylvania and Delaware to the west? Its capital is Trenton. New Jersey. Is correct. One past that extinct race of humans with the pronounced brow was the Neanderthals. You have now, Jackie, 14 points. <laughs> And now Steve again, please. And you start out with nine points, Steve. The score to beat, to be in with a chance to get through to the grand final, is still 14. 
Here we go. What word for one of the sense organs of the human body is also the name for the strip of fabric in a shoe that sits beneath the laces? Tongue. Yep. Which famous navigator was born in Genoa in 1451? His transatlantic voyages led to European colonization of the Americas. Columbus. Yes, the Spanish town of Buñol near Valencia holds an annual festival that involves people pelting each other with what salad ingredient? Tomatoes. Yeah, the title of a television reality show, originally a Dutch format, which began in the UK in 2000, is taken from the name of a character in the novel 1984 by George Orwell. Which character? Big Brother. Yeah, a word from the Latin for to turn, which is often misused to describe a fear of heights, actually refers to a medical condition that results in a false sense of motion or dizziness. What word? Acrophobia. A vertigo. The Rising, Devils and Dust and Working on a Dream were UK number one albums in the 2000s for which American singer? Kate Perry. Bruce Springsteen. In the British Honours System, the abbreviation CBE denotes one of the ranks of the Order of the British Empire. What does the letter C stand for in, in this abbreviation? Command is correct. Which 19th century Russian author wrote the play A Month in the Country and the novel Fathers and Sons? Chekhov. Turgenev. The United Nations Monetary and Financial Conference, which was held in 1944 to plan economic help for countries that would need it after the Second World War, is commonly named after the area of New Hampshire where it took place. What's the name of that area? Bretton Woods? Yes. A synonym is a word that has a very similar meaning to another word. What's the corresponding term for a word that has an opposite meaning to another word? Antonym. Yes. Which county cricket team plays its home games at Trent Bridge? Not even true. Yeah. What name of Italian origin is given to plaster mixed with powdered marble? It's used for covering walls and ceilings and for making cornices and other decorations. Wattle. Stucco. Which Scandinavian capital city was until 1925 known as Christiania? Otto. Yes. A stage musical which ran on Broadway in 2017 and had its UK premiere in 2019 was adapted from a 2001 French romantic comedy film that stars Audrey Tautou in the title role. What musical? Amelie. Yes. A test for certain genetic or chromosomal conditions in a developing fetus is known informally as an amnio, which is short for a word partly derived from the Greek for pricking. What word? Amniocesis. No, amniocentesis. Two brothers who are said to have been leaders of the... Start, it's all finished. Leaders of the Jutes reputedly led the first Anglo-Saxon settlers in Britain and in the mid-5th century fought against the Picts on the side of the British king Vortigern. Their names were Hengist and... What? Horsa. Is correct. Steve, no passes. You have 20 points. Thank you. And finally, Dan, again, please. Dan, you have 11 points. The score to beat, though, has risen sharply to 20. Now, let's see if you can do it and get through to the grand final. Here we go. The technique known as IVF is used as a fertility treatment, and the letters IV stand for a Latin term that means in glass. What term? In vitro. Yep. Which Andrew Lloyd Webber musical was adapted into a 2019 feature film? It stars Taylor Swift, Idris Elba and Dame Judi Dench. Cats. Yep. A unit of length equal to six feet and mainly used to measure the depth of water is known by a name derived from an old English word for the outstretched arms. What name? Fathom. Yep. Whiston Hugh were the forenames of a 20th century poet who grew up in Birmingham but emigrated to America in the 30s. Which poet? Auden. Yep. What's the name of the basic unit of currency of the United Arab Emirates and Morocco? Its name is derived from that of the former Greek currency, the drachma. Dylan. Yep. In 1926, an Irish woman named Violet Gibson tried to kill an Italian political leader as he was returning to his car in Rome. Which leader? Mussolini. Yeah. The Gironde estuary, just north of Bordeaux in southwest France, is formed by the confluence of the rivers Garonne and Dordogne. The estuary flows into which bay? Biscay. Yes. The flag adopted as an official emblem of the European Union features a circle of gold stars on a blue background. How many gold stars? Thirteen. Twelve. What type of bridge is characterised by horizontally projecting beams or girders that join in the middle? The railway bridge over the Firth of Forth is one example. Cantilever. Yes. The controversial 1917 artwork entitled Fountain consisted of a porcelain urinal usually laid on its back. It was one of the so-called ready-made objects exhibited by which artist? Uh, Marceau. 
Marcel Duchamp, what's the term for the distance between the rails of a railway track? Gauge. Yes. Which American singer had a posthumous UK hit single with the song Unforgettable when his daughter Natalie dubbed her vocals over a previous recording of her father to simulate a duet? Nat King Cole. Yes. The Inner Hebridean Islands of Rum, Egg, Muck and Canna are collectively known by what name? Uh, Aaron. The Small Isles. What's the word for a speech, especially one at a funeral, that pays tribute to someone? It's derived from a Greek word for praise. Elegy. Eulogy. A memorial in the New Forest National Park commemorates the death of William II in a hunting accident. What's the name of the memorial? The Rufus Stone. Yes, a type of two-piece swimming costume for women is named after an atoll in the Marshall Islands where American nuclear weapons tests were held between 1946 and 58. Which atoll? Bikini. Yes, the battles of Breitenfeld, Lützen and Wittstock were part of a war fought mainly in the Holy Roman Empire and named after its duration from 1618 to 1648. Which war? Thirty Years' War. Yes, a broad a musical which won six Tony Awards in 2017 and opened in London's West End two years later is about a teenager with social anxiety and includes the song Waving Through a Window. What musical? Book of Mormon. Dear Evan Hansen, however, no passes. You have now a total of 24 points. <laughs> Well, let's have a look at the final scores. Joint third place, 14 points apiece, Sally and Jackie. Second place, 20 points, Steve. First place, 24 points, Dan. Which means that he goes through to the grand final. Congratulations to him. And if you would like to be a contender in the next series, do go to our website, bbc.co.uk stroke mastermind. And you can follow us at Mastermind Quiz. And do join us again next time for more Masterminds. And thanks for watching. Goodbye. I scored 24. I'm not sure if the pressure's gone off or if it's just cracked up a notch. But, um, yeah, I'm obviously delighted to win and, uh, yeah, already looking forward to the final. I chose the life of Emil Zatterbeck. I'm a big sports fan and I've been a runner for all my adult life. It required a, you know, a fair bit of digging back into the archives and he, you know, he was a fascinating guy. He, he changed the sport of athletics um, and what he achieved in uh, the Olympics in 52, uh, no one has ever done before and probably never will again. The strategy has to be to answer as quick as you can. You know, you obviously want to get them right. If you can't get them right, you've got to come up with a, um, a reasonable answer. Answer it quickly, don't pass, and get through as many questions as you can. Cantilever. Yes. Nat King Cole. Yes. The Rufus Stone. Yes. Bikini. Yes. Thirty Years' War. Yes. No passes. You have now a total of 24 points. It's a mixture of excitement and relief and a bit of nervous anticipation for the final because you're going to be up against, you know, other, another um, set of um, winners from the other semi-finals. Everybody's going to be good. And, you know, we all know stuff. We've probably all got a half-decent general knowledge. And it will come down to, um, you know, how we perform on the day and if the questions fall in our favour. So, uh, yeah, very excited and looking forward to it.